Train passengers caught up in the network's catastrophic meltdown last night will be automatically refunded a two-hour fare. The Andrews government today slammed Metro Train, saying the operator could be fined. Dougal Beatty reports. It hit just before 4pm yesterday, a computer glitch shutting down the entire network. All trains suspended, passengers facing delays of more than an hour in an embarrassing shutdown of the system. This morning, commuters were still angry. Oh, it was absolutely horrible. There were people everywhere, a bit of pandemonium, people looking up at the um, screen. I was cold and I wanted to get home and unfortunately that choice was taken away from me. The head of Metro Trains quickly apologised for the debacle. We're very sorry for the delays. It's particularly frustrating when it happens in the, in the peak when everybody just wants to get home. Admitting the fault also took out the backup software system and it still doesn't know what caused the technology to crash. It will be a thorough investigation. It's hard to say just how long that will take. Um, we'll get to the root cause of it and we'll fix the problem. In Bendigo, the public transport minister slammed the operator. I'm certainly very angry and disappointed about what happened yesterday afternoon. Jacinta Allen says Metro could face hefty fines. I've been uh, in discussions with the CEO of Public Transport Victoria about what penalties and, and what approaches can be taken with Metro. Late today, Metro announced details of compensation for commuters. Passengers who touched on between 3 and 7pm will be automatically refunded the cost of a two-hour fare. The refunds will be processed over the next 30 days and no application form is required. Who's going to pay the compensation for the mums and dads that had to jump in a taxi or an Uber and get uh, charged $100? to get to the childcare centre in time to pick up the uh, the kids. The shutdown comes as Metro continues contract extension negotiations with the state government. The minister has flagged tighter controls to ensure there's not a repeat of the embarrassing failure. The rail union claims it shows the system needs to be state-owned. It's clearly evident that Metro is not spending the money where they should be. Dougal Beatty, Nine News.